welcome back. We're back, baby. To the Disneyville podcast. We took <laughs> a way longer than we had planned it. We knew we were going to take a little time off, but we yeah. have been gone for a while. So welcome back. <laughs> glad we're to be here. here. We're here. We are glad to be back. I feel like we we were just having a time with all kinds of other stuff. And so it doesn't really matter because we're back now, baby. So <laughs> Let's do it. So we have one more episode in our resorts uh, playlist here. Resorts. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Our that resorts, sounds good. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like overviews. Yeah. Well, but it's a little deeper than that. But I mean, series. That's the one. A resort series. <laughs> and that's this episode right here. This yeah. is the final one. <laughs> I am really excited for our next episode Me because too. it's going to be weird, and I just love it. This is that. I that's hope what you guys I was... like us for our weirdness because <laughs> it's going to come out next time. So okay, here's what we're talking about today. So okay, so in our last episode, if you missed it, we talked about the resort loop uh, hotels. So we talked about Grand Floridian, Contemporary, Polynesian, Wilderness Lodge. Wow, you rattled those off really well. Yeah, that. Mm-hmm. This time we're talking about Animal Kingdom Lodge. Lodge. <laughs> Yacht and Beach Club. <laughs> it's pronounced luge. <laughs> Boardwalk, Old Key West, Riviera, and Saratoga Springs. So we we had a, a pretty long list here. I'm excited to talk about some of them. We've stayed at most of these, but there are a couple we haven't, and we'll but we've been to for like restaurants and stuff. So we'll get into some of that. So this is a good time, like especially if you're watching on YouTube or if you follow us over on our Instagram, which is at Disneyville Podcast. Um, a great time to share your expertise. If you have stayed at some of the ones that we have not, you can share some of the things you love. So if someone's considering it and they're just wanting more info, that's, you know, yeah, a way you guys can help there in the community. So, uh oh, oh, there it is. I thought it all got deleted. Oh, I almost boy. threw up. Okay. <laughs> good start. Good start. <laughs> oh, mug shots first. Okay. What do we have today? What are you drinking your coffee out of? So mine is this little one. So we were just talking about all the Disney mugs nowadays are huge, which I used to like huge coffee mugs but then i realized i'm like i'm just constantly microwaving my coffee because yeah coffee gets too cold yeah so this one's like a little small one here so it just says today is a good day for a good day and it's got mickey mouse on it on the front and back says the same thing on on both sides but it's a little bit smaller it's like a mint green Mm -hmm. Uh, i would call that a sea foam green (laughs) genevieve the other day said she said that's a sea green i was like oh my I'm not even sure if she was right, but I was just so impressed that she thought to. Anyway, mine is literally brand new. I ordered it on the Shop Disney site, but it says 100 years of music and wonder kind of on the inside. And it's like a light purple, which is one of my favorite colors. And all around it, it has the genie, figment, maestro Mickey or band leader Mickey, I should say. Right. Right. Right, Yeah. Um, Mirabelle, Elsa, Peter Pan. Um, the dude from Soul, I can never remember his name, but I love that movie. It is just so pretty. I shared about it on my like other Instagram oh, yeah. and so many people were like, oh my gosh. And it's a good we all probably now have matching mugs because I'm pretty sure all of you guys bought it. Too. I didn't. Yeah. You just like it. You opened up the package yesterday and I was like, oh, that's a good one. I didn't even know you bought it. It so is a good. nice looking mug. Mm-hmm. I like that one a lot. And again, it's a little bit smaller too, which is yeah. awesome. Yeah. Also, I'm wearing a Shania Twain shirt for anyone curious. We did just see her live and it was totally awesome. That's all on that. But I just had to rep because I love it. That's all. I'm wearing a Mickey Mouse shirt uh, that my mom just got me for my birthday. And I love it because it is just a completely classic Mickey Mouse. Nothing else on it. Just, just, can you see that? And you, just, we clearly yeah. haven't watched it, watched it because you can see the lines. <laughs> I do that just all the time. Straight up Mickey Mouse. I love I it. I love okay. it. Okay. So we're doing these in alphabetical order here. So we're starting with Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. (laughs) Insert Animal Kingdom music behind this. (laughs) Uh, I know you're going to be surprised about what I'm about to say. I love this resort. Mm -hmm. I feel like it is so unique among like Disney resorts, among resorts anywhere. And there is nothing like waking up and Mm -hmm. seeing a giraffe outside your room, just getting your coffee and walking out on your balcony. And oh, there's a giraffe out there. Hello, Mr. Giraffe. There's a zebra. Yeah, you don't really get used to that, you know? It's it's pretty cool. It's yeah. And you're right. It is totally unique. No other resort in Disney is anything like this. I mean, I guess the closest would be Wilderness Lodge just cuz there's lots of like dark wood, but beyond that, I no, mean, they're yeah. totally different. Um it it's kind of one of those places that I feel like if you're going to spend the money to stay there, you want to make sure that you actually do spend time at the resort because yes, you know what I mean? There there's definitely. you not you don't even have to stay there by the way. You can visit and go back on the Savannah area, and there's mm-hmm. usually guides out there that will tell you about what you're seeing, what animals, what plants. 
Um, and anyone can just walk back there. So that's something we've done before. If we've gone to a restaurant there, which, oh my gosh, the restaurant's yeah. here. Anyway, um, that's we, just something cool to do. We only stayed there one time, right? In mm -hmm. 2012. So it's been over 10 years since we've stayed there. I really want to go there again, but I want to wait until the girls get to be a little bit older. Cause I feel like as of right now, like they would think it's cool, but like, especially Felicity, she wouldn't get it. Yeah, but when they get one. to be a little bit older, I think this is going to be a really cool mm -hmm. resort for families, yeah. especially if they add another piece of transportation. No, oh, that would be great. <laughs> because the one downside for me with Animal Kingdom is that it's only buses. So there's no other means to a park or anything like that. It's only buses. The rumor was, and again, I never put any stock in rumors unless Disney actually announces it. And then half the time if Disney announces it, it still doesn't come to fruition. <laughs> so I, until it's actually built, there was talk for a long time of their, them doing a second phase to the Skyliner hopefully that's going to happen i mean there's a million things going on right now so i don't know if it actually will but if they did i think it was going to go to uh disney springs yeah there's like a, a map online yeah. it's not a very good but animal kingdom lodge is one of the places they were considering adding to it if they do end up doing this second phase of the skyliner that would be amazing. and that would be huge because it is a deluxe it has deluxe prices but it's such a unique experience that you can only get there that I'm like, it's worth yeah. it. But like you said, you need to, it's one of those ones where if you're going for a week, you do two days, you have a resort day and then two days before and you leave maybe because you day. have to spend some time enjoying your resort. I just think it's one yeah. of those, the, the pool there is amazing. The views are obviously incredible. So take a day and truly enjoy staying where you are at least a day. Yeah, no, I totally agree. And one thing I just thought about was like, well, if we did bring the kids, even at the ages they are five and one, if we're going to be spending a lot of time in the room anyway, because, you know, the one-year-old's napping, yep. she goes to bed early, so we're stuck in the room anyway. I mean, there are worse places to be stuck, so maybe that's a good time to go because we get to enjoy the balcony even more while you she are naps. Not, you are not wrong. I've never thought about it. <laughs> so um, the other thing about the bus is really fast is that there are two sections to the resort, which we'll kind of get into in a minute, but they also stop at both sections too. So a lot of times if the DVC area, the uh, Kidani, Kidani village. village is full. So, I mean, it, it's just one more thing to, on top of, you know, it's only buses. The buses can also be busy too. Yeah, I could see that. Really thinking, like looking at the resort as a whole, there's the main area, which is called Jumbo House. And that's where, you know, you walk in and it is just grand. That's where I feel like it's similar to Wilderness Lodge. The lobby... Again, different aesthetic, but also like just similar grand. aesthetic. Yeah. Grand, dark wood. Um, just it is fully themed, fully themed. We're going to talk about a few here in a bit that the lobbies really like when you compare Animal Kingdom Lodge's lobby to others, it's like comical. AKL is so much cooler. But it really is. And that huge window in the back. Oh, my gosh. Look at the um, Arusha Rock overview yeah. is just so beautiful from inside and then you can walk outside and they've got this great viewing area like you were just saying mm -hmm. it's so beautiful but when you walk in you just get that that smell of the lobby and the cool air and then you just see this huge massive window at the back it's i love walking into that lobby <laughs> two two complaints i have but these are like silly complaints is when i walk in you know you're always so hot and you go in and they have the ac pumping which feels amazing for one minute and after one minute you're freezing <laughs> second of all you always say i don't think the lodge is too cold there's something about it and second of all when you walk in because it is so grand and the wood is so dark and then the window in the back is so big you're instantly blinded so you go in and you're freezing <laughs> And you, you can't see anything for like five minutes. My eyes have to adjust. You're not wrong. Yeah, there's I something. love it. Um, so, okay. So I wrote down here, it's a 43 acre wildlife preserve with 30 species and indigenous African trees and shrubs. So there's zebras, giraffes, uh, gazelles. There's so many, um, even then there's like ostriches and like uh, all kinds. There's just amazing. Surprise around every corner. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah, there really is. Um, they... Oh, yeah. I was going to say, a lot of times they'll have, like, live music going on mm -hmm. throughout the day. I Inside, usually. If I, I was going to say, do they ever do it outside? I don't think I've ever heard it outside. I think, well, I would probably bother the animals. Yeah, I think they do it inside. And if I remember right, there was, like, when we walked into the main lobby, it was, like, down in the, the bar area before it opened. So it was, like, there's this in-between bar, which I can't remember off the top of my head mm -hmm. what it's called. But there's the main lobby and, like, a step down, and then you go into uh, Boma. Mm -hmm. But I feel like they were in there playing. So you could kind of hear it in the restaurant. You just you could hear, hear it. it. Yeah. 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 Oh, 
the drums and stuff. So again, it gives you that whole, that feeling. And there's usually like, they'll have a fire going. So mm-hmm. when I'm freezing from the lobby, I just go over. <laughs> Maybe that's why they keep it cold so they can, <laughs> you can enjoy the fire. Um, but yeah, you can usually smell that fire as well, which just makes it all smell amazing too. Yeah. So because we're covering so many resorts this time, we're not going to talk about all the different room types and room views and this, that, mm-hmm. and the other. But just quickly, this is the one exception is obviously there's the Savannah view rooms, which if you can swing it, I think is obviously totally worth it because it's so amazing. But mm-hmm. if you can't, a lot of times you'll find some really good deals on the ones that the, the rooms that are not facing the Savannah. And like we just said, you can still go out and go into the main lobby and go out to the, and there's a few different areas where you can overlook the Savannah area. Mm-hmm. So if you get the chance to stay there, even if you're not doing a Savannah view room, it's still a really, really cool place to stay. Yeah. And they have concierge level there. I think they have concierge level at most of the ones we're talking about. Well, no, no, because they wouldn't have it in Saratoga and Old Key West, I don't think. I don't think so, no. Um, but anyway, so this is one of the ones that does. They have one, two, and three bedroom villas there as well. We've only done just the standard room there, and Those it was amazing. Those three bedroom villas go like that. They're gone. It's amazing how they, they're just like sold out all the time. We've had some clients who've contacted us and wanted a book, and like they're just gone always. Like who is staying there 365 <laughs> days out of the year? They're, so if you see one. Grab it. And, and you wanted it. <laughs> you can just swing two of it. Yet. Just stay there. <laughs> One million dollars per night. Um, all right, let's talk restaurants. Because to be honest, obviously the animals are the number one, like, oh my gosh, thing. Mm-hmm. Second is the food. Yes. Yeah. Is the food. So Boma is the one you already mentioned. Mm-hmm. It's kind of off the main lobby and down a bit. And it is a buffet and they have breakfast mm-hmm. and dinner. The breakfast is out of this world. We've been to it like at least three times maybe uh, four yeah. it's like yeah it's so I, that might be one of the restaurants we've been to the most Honestly, that's not yeah. quick service obviously. because we we always love going over there just to see it mm-hmm. so we kind of make a point to try and do a restaurant there and then we just at the boma breakfast is so good it's just a, like i said it's a buffet but it's but different it's than so any of the other good. buffets they have a lot of the foods you might be used to especially like if you have kids yeah. but then breakfast they have buffet, so kind of yeah things. but they have so many other more african inspired dishes that are like they're the one that's how we got introduced to Booba tea. <laughs> Bippity boppity boo. I yep. cannot say. I always say boba tie and I know it's wrong, but no boba one tea. agrees on how to say it. Bo- but but boba tea. Bo- boba tea. Oh, all right. I, I well, know. I'll just point to you and I want to say it anyway. <laughs> it is so good, you guys. It's one of those that we've brought people there with us that are like coming to Disney and we're like, we got to go to Boma and everyone we brought there loved it. Yeah. Yeah, honestly. And it's just, oh, the food is just, and you can see them cooking it right behind because it's like an open kitchen. And so mm-hmm. it, it's just amazing. I feel like so many times they're just like, it's a big bag of, you know, scrambled eggs they put in hot water and then they sit out. But like, Listen, this is like, I you still see, like those like kind your, of eggs. You like your wet bag scrambled eggs. <laughs> I do love my wet bag scrambled eggs. Hey, you know what? I just love eggs. Yeah. So I don't discriminate. <laughs> just all eggs. I will eat the fake fluffy floofy wet <laughs> steaming bag of eggs just I'll right out the of the bag thing. too <laughs> i would throw a little salt in there okay so uh then we have Jico, which is uh it's called Jico, the cooking place which is right next door that is some of the best food i have ever had on property i got short yeah. ribs for the first time ever there because i just asked him like what should i get mm-hmm. and th- that's what he recommended that and it was just oh, fell God. apart it was un believable and now i order short ribs a lot because yeah. they're just so good and they, they, and they never stack they up. never do but that oh my gosh that was so good yeah i remember it being really good too definitely pricier uh, i mean you know it's disney everything but it is definitely one of the more pricier ones i remember mm-hmm. but it was amazing that like especially for like a special occasion like you're really yeah. wanting to um the other big restaurant there is called sana it's over in is it in kidani village that's the one yeah i always get confused that's the one over in kidani village with the bread service and all that next are door. we sure or is sana there yeah well either way you'd figure it out my point <laughs> is sana is so good so everyone recommends the bread service which i do too it's just especially if you got a couple even just two of us i would order the bread service anyway you have this amazing view of the savannah from there and so like anywhere in the restaurant you're sitting, you can see it. So it's just one of those things that you'll see a giraffe walking by while you're eating your bag of scramble. I'm just kidding. I'm assuming <laughs> they do real eggs there. <laughs> but anyway, the food was really, really good there too. Yeah. But it's not a buffet. It's like a sit down, you know. Yeah. Restaurant. I didn't like Sana as much as I liked Chico. I think because we went there first and I just liked it so much. Sana was a little bit of a letdown. I think it was still good. 
but mm-hmm. it wasn't like blow my mind good like Jiko was. It's funny. I really, really liked Sana. And I think Jiko was a little bit darker and I liked that Sana was brighter and you could see outside. You yeah. know what I mean? So maybe that was the difference. Um, and Sana, I'm pretty sure, is a little bit cheaper. Maybe. It's just a different vibe. Like, yeah. I feel like taking kids to Jiko, you certainly can. Yeah. But Sana seems a little more inviting to that. Kadani Village, by the way, is like I said, it's the DVC area next door. Anybody can book it, but it's the DVC yeah. building. And it's basically the exact same thing, I feel like, to like 40% scale. Like, when you walk in, it looks like the exact same lobby. It's just smaller. Yeah. Um, and so, like, it's, it's still very cool, but uh, it just doesn't have that grand, like, wow feeling so they also have some other lounges they have a quick service called the mara um not far from the pool where you can you know fill your resort drinks all that kind of stuff um but yeah those are the three main awesome restaurants yeah um uh completely off topic mm -hmm. one thing that i found as i was doing a little bit of research on this episode disney is incredibly good at naming their fitness centers and so i started writing them down and they are all objectively really good names so at (laughs) Uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge is called Survival of the Fittest Health Club. It's at Kadani Village. But like, Survival of the Fittest. That's, that's such good. a good name. And I'll, come, I'll, I'll tell the you The one at somewhere. Riviera is Athletique. Ooh. Yeah. Fancy. Um, okay. So they have really cool pools there. Again, just highly themed. They've got like a little playground area near one of the pools. They have a flamingo. Oh, I totally forgot yeah. about this. It's all coming to me. Yeah. There's a flamingo area not far from the pool that is, it's stinky. Gigi will tell you. It is you. stinky. It is stinky. Um, but it's really, really cool. And you're just like, the flamingos are just right there. And again, there's usually a guide there to tell you about them. So it feels, I don't want to say zoo-like because I know it's not. But my point is, it's kind of cool because there's like, you know, guides around that tell you. So it feels kind of like a really expensive zoo. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So they the pools are great. Um, transportation, buses everywhere, as we said. So yeah. there you go. Okay. So now moving on to, we're going to do Yacht and Beach Club together, even though they're not really the same resort. A lot of times they get lumped in well, together. Well, they share a lot of Yeah. So we're just going to kind of lump them in together here. Do you say so, Yacht and Beach Club or Beach say, and Yacht Club? I say Yacht and Beach, but I we always, typed it Beach and Yacht. Yeah, I always say weird. Yacht and Beach. I wonder why that is. Yeah. Um, so here's the thing. It's insane based on the fact that we've stayed nearly everywhere in disney that we still have not stayed at the yacht and beach club neither one Mm-mm. dying um, to stay there that is my number one place i want to stay but i feel like whenever we look there's mm-hmm. like there's not a good deal like there's a special offer out or it's an annual pass offer but it's not there or it's just the dates don't work out or whatever so i'm like yeah, every it's never time. available when we want it the thing about yacht and beach is it is totally awesome <laughs> It's one of our favorites to go and just be there. But <laughs> yeah, we it's like we it. basically stay there, but we've never slept there. <laughs> yeah. So the it's I love Tyler. You type this. It's casual elegance at the beach club, but it's elegant elegance at the yacht club. That's <laughs> that so funny. perfect. <laughs> it's so funny, but it's true because it's like the beach club seems a little more low key. The yacht club seems a little more buttoned up. But they're both still Disney resorts. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's kids running yeah. everywhere and it's I would fun. say the Beach Club is the sassy sister resort to Yacht Club. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You got a lot of things to say I about know. Yacht Beach Club. Uh, okay. So the uh, the health club here is called Ship Shape Health Club. <laughs> That's so great. Don't say funny things while I'm <laughs> drinking my coffee. Um, oh, that is amazing. So good. But they're they're both New England style. So one is obviously meant to be more like a beach club. One's meant to be a yacht. But they're both meant to be kind of New Englandy mm-hmm. feeling. Which I just love that aesthetic in too. general. I would do our entire house in a nautical New England theme. I don't, I'm so drawn to New England. I just I love that area. And ugh. I think if we ever randomly moved to somewhere that we didn't expect, I I don't know, it would probably be in New England. Yeah, I just love that whole area I anyway too. the if you can if you can the boardwalk area if you can look out over that area there are some rooms that look out over the crescent lake area it's so pretty at night just they have the lights they have the string lights up and they have the lights on the buildings and stuff like that it's just i love again the aesthetic of this area and when we do eventually stay there i can just see us like hopping over to epcot in the evening and then you know taking a nice stroll back in a, a warm evening back to our room and just being the i just love that I do too. I think that's why we're both really dying to stay there. Because just being able to walk to Epcot, transportation wise, you can also walk to, I mean, to Epcot and get on the Skyliner and go to Hollywood Studios. It has so many options when it comes to transportation. It's it's just really neat. The mm-hmm. fact that you could just walk, especially like if you're dealing with the stroller, that is a big time mm-hmm. yes resort for that because yeah. you can walk to, in theory, too. Right. And then you can hop on the Skyliner to Hollywood Studios as well. Yeah. Um, there's just a lot going on there. Currently, a couple of these that we're going to talk about. See, so it's currently still being refurbished. Yeah, you think? as far as I know, I think that's it was supposed to be done by now, but I think it's still. I think there's a on. lot of pins put in things. Yeah. obviously with. So, um, 
um so yeah the new rims look nice i don't think they're like insanely good looking um i think they just are kind of nice looking. i feel like they weren't so terrible before but maybe i'm remembering it wrong based on pictures they remind me of like the riviera they're just like it's, it's basically just that room that they yeah have the they riviera. well that seems to be what they're kind of exactly which but it's I don't, clean I, I think it's pretty yeah. i get that some of the things as i was reading some blogs about some of these refurbished rooms some of the complaints are just like well it's not quite as themed and i feel like it's so hard because they have to kind of like toe the line between actually wanting it to look fresh and updated and not dated, but then also keeping with the theme in some way. And so I feel like that's kind of a hard battle they're facing. Yeah. And right now it seems they're leaning more into making it feel more updated than it is making it super themed. Right. And so, which I like, and I do, I, I like actually the do of kind of rooms. prefer. Yeah. Oh, that um, looks really pretty. Yeah. I, I think, exactly. and I love the pull down beds versus like a fold out bed where it just stays the full mattress. That's so cool. Yes. Oh my gosh. That's a game changer. Um, all right. Let's talk restaurants there. Cause we have tried these. So Cape May Cafe, they do a character breakfast and I'm pretty sure it's back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, we loved that one. I felt like the food was pretty good for a breakfast, you know, classic breakfast yeah. buffet. The characters were so much fun. It was usually like Daisy and Minnie and Donald. I feel like I think Goofy was there. Yeah. Usually yeah. some of the fab in their whatever. Beach attire. Yeah. yeah. Which was very cute. And it's just, it's just fun. I love character breakfasts. Yeah. It's such it's a great way to do it, do because you meet so many characters while you're, and then you're also eating a meal. It's just like, mm -hmm. the, it's, it's such a great use of your time. Especially if you have a kid that really wants to meet Instead a lot of, of yeah, characters, it's a nice to way to them. bump out five of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do that and a princess breakfast and you've knocked out 10 characters right there. You're good. <laughs> yeah. You've, you've done it. <laughs> uh, we actually just had a client go and she came back and she said that was like the best meal that they had was, was there. Like the, of everything okay. they ate, that was their favorite. Yeah, I, I wish, I mean, again, it was probably five or six years ago that we did it, but I remembered walking away thinking that food was good. So yeah. I wish I remembered more detail, but. Yeah, Gigi was real young. I don't even, she might have she just was like been one. 18 months, maybe. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Um, so Beaches and Cream Soda Shop. Yeah, another one we've never been to. I have heard yeah. about Beaches and Cream for so many years, and we still somehow have never made it I think it we've there. like walked in, but then we didn't end up getting anything, yeah. and maybe there was a line or something. Something like that. But yeah, it's it's sort of a cult classic over there, yeah. and uh, it just went uh, through another refurbishment as well, and so it's got some new aesthetics and stuff like that, but it's... Uh, it's on the list. Cute. We gotta go. I know, and it's it just is cute. I've got They're, a list of like six things I want to try from there. I'm like, <laughs> I know. Well, they're famous for the kitchen sink, right? Yeah. That's, and then they have the Mickey Pants, which is the smaller version of the kitchen sink. But yeah, it's, the kitchen sink is like literally everything but the kitchen sink. You know, yeah. Ice cream, just you need every flavor, every topping. Like six people to eat it, I'm and you sure. still won't finish it. <laughs> <laughs> but they do have like burgers and stuff like that too. Right, so you could right. actually eat as well. There's also a couple bars. There's Martha's Vineyard and Hurricane Hannah's. There's a couple uh, mm -hmm. little bars there. At Yacht Club, the restaurant's there. They have two. Um, we have not done Yachtsman Steakhouse. Pricey. It's very pricey, pricey. but I've heard. I never really heard much about it. And then I feel like all of a sudden I started hearing people being like, no, no, no. This is one of my favorite restaurants on property. Wow. Um, somebody who, who is just saying. They used that like that's like their go to restaurant every time. And so like that's another one we need to definitely add to our list. It's an expensive go to. <laughs> well, I think <laughs> like my go to is McDonald's. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um and then they have uh Ale and Compass, which we have been to a couple times. We've done breakfast there and dinner there, and it's always been really always good. Always good. And you know, it's not super highly themed. It's kind of yachty, like it's mm -hmm. but we've always brought the kids or Genevieve when she was younger and it's always been really welcoming. You can always get a table. Mm -hmm. It's never sold out. Even if you can't find a reservation online, which you will be able to, you could, you can just walk up. There's always, cause it's pretty big. I feel like once you actually go in there, it kind of keeps going. So, yeah. and the food's always been really good. Yeah. It's always been good. We have a couple mm -hmm. things that from there that we have since made at home because we liked them so much. Yeah. I literally took a picture of the menu so we could see what all was in it. And we're like, we're just going to make it at home. And we do. Yeah. Oh, so good. Um, so the pool here is obviously That's the star the of the show. That's the resistance, yeah. At both of these resorts. So they share Storm Along Bay, which again, every time we walk by it, I look like, like oh, I longingly day. in there. I'm like, I want to go. Can I go? Let's just throw the kids over and then we'll climb. Just, yeah, parkour over the fence. and <laughs> Parkour. <laughs> the, uh, anyway, so there's a, a, a life-size shipwreck there. And there's like a slide in it. It looks so amazing. It's a sand bottom pool, I'm pretty sure. It's right? like just nuts. This place is just, it's like a mini water park. And I yeah. so desperately want to step foot in there. <laughs> just dip my toe in. Okay. I want to find out if it has a real sand bottom. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that alone would be a reason to stay there, especially if you have kids. But even if not, I mean, please, who doesn't want to go to the 
it sounds awesome. And it looks awesome too. But yeah, they share that. So it's just like this epic yeah. water area. And normally I hate a sandy bottom, but in this case, <laughs> I think I would enjoy it. Oh my God, sand so, in Minecraft. <laughs> They have uh, <laughs> transportation. They have buses. You can walk to Epcot. In theory, you can walk to Hollywood Studios. You can Just also take the Skyliner. Um, and then uh, they also have a, uh, the friendship boats. No, they call it the friendship there. Whatever. They're, th- those boats will also mm-hmm. take you to Hollywood Studios as well from there. <sighs> One day. Yeah. All right. Boardwalk Inn. So we have stayed here. And the whole idea of it is what it sounds like kind of like turn of the century atlantic city vibes it's on the boardwalk so if you've if you're not familiar with the boardwalk area yacht and beach are on the boardwalk it's all surrounding crescent lake and then on the other side there's like the entrance to epcot and then you keep walking and you hit the boardwalk resort Mm -hmm. and um we only stayed there for like three nights on our baby moon so it was a while ago and we were only there for like two or three nights well the thing about the boardwalk is I love the location. Again, mm-hmm. if you can get a room facing, we were kind of facing like an inner small courtyard. Actually, I think we were facing like another building. Yeah. And so it, it wasn't quite the vibe we were hoping for. So just something to be aware of. If you're going to be spending that money, really think about the view because if you're going to be there, nice to face Crescent Lake or face the boardwalk. But um, there's no area. Like think about most Disney resorts have... Uh, like an area that has like their quick service and like a gift shop and stuff. Boardwalk has those things, but you have to get to them from the boardwalk, which again makes sense considering the theming. So there's like the uh, shutters or what known screen door general store, which I love by the way, yeah. their little gift shop. I think it's actually one of my favorites in the, and I don't even know why I just love it. Every time we go to the boardwalk area, we go in anyway. So they have like their gift shop area with some sundries. They have the quick service, which is, uh, mm. the boardwalk cafe right yeah or like boardwalk bakery hold on yeah so it's like the boardwalk deli ice cream pizza window like all in that same area mm-hmm. but there is no like internal place to get to them well, and so if it's raining they did just add a little cafe in the lobby and because it was that's people, nice people got a whole bunch of flack for it because they it's like not very themed it's like just tables and chairs and stuff like that and like they oh added wait it and i like think people I can... were like oh it's you know this is terrible i'm like it's, it's just nice to have a coffee and like you know, you know what i'm remembering place. though yacht and beach also does not have like it's kind of the same it's like within their gift shop they have like a little walk-up area with like a few tables and chairs yeah they don't have a true quick service either so now yeah. i have to put my foot in my mouth they both suck for that reason i'm just <laughs> kidding but you know it's something to just keep in mind because yeah. it is different it's a different experience i don't think it's necessarily better or worse it just is bears something to, something to factor in. yeah just yeah. something to factor in yeah but again the location is so amazing it's I'm so like, cool I, could, I can definitely overlook that <laughs> i feel yeah like. i mean certainly yeah so they also have a uh, wyland galleries there which is like an art gallery um they also have thimbles and threads which i wrote down but i don't even remember what that was now i don't i don't remember if that one was like an actual disney gift shop or if it was just like clothing store maybe yeah um so again talking about the fitness center the one here is called muscles and bustles Oh, like bustle, so like good. <laughs> so under good your dress. Names. That's so good. Oh, you um, you should be hired doing that. You're the king of puns. Uh, looking at the restaurants here, there is a ton of restaurants here. Again, because we haven't stayed here, I feel like there's so many we haven't done. So we need to make it a point to stay here so we can try all these restaurants. Deal. Flying Fish, um, which is a sort of a high end luxury dining. Mm-hmm. Um, again, I've heard really good things. Really want to try that one out. Um, they have Trattoria Al Forno which has my all-time favorite food that I've ever found in Walt We've Disney We've eaten World, there a lot. <laughs> which is the uh, the breakfast pizza there. It is so good. We had it just this last time. We Did a little quality control. Mm. It was up. just as good. Um, there is Big River Grill and Brewing Works, which I, we still have not been to. Yeah. Uh, there's Cake Bake Shop coming soon. Guess where that's from, you guys? Our hometown. Indianapolis. Indianapolis. So excited. They have one here where we live, and the original one was in like Broad Ripple. Um, which is a little bit south of us, but it's all like within 20 or 30 minutes. So it is so cool that they now that it yeah. is now their third location, I'm pretty sure, is going to be in freaking Disney World. And it is the perfect place. It is, it is the perfect thing It is thing Pinterest-y, to be on. Instagram-y oh heaven. It is the most boardwalk kind of looking thing. It is so over the top. Oh it is going to be, it is going to fit in so well there. And a slice of cake is like 20 bucks. So share it because also they're pretty rich like literally yeah just the little... uh oh my gosh it's, it's so, so good cool, though. you guys the uh if if assuming it's the same food or same cakes and everything they have there get i think it's like a mint chocolate chip cake they have mm-hmm. it's oprah's favorite and it's also my favorite another and yet oprah. another thing that oprah and i share <laughs> 
Uh, okay, so Jelly Rolls is another one that we've never been to. Dying to go. Uh, it's 21 so, and over. Yeah. And then uh, the Atlantic Dance is... So the Jelly Rolls is the uh, dueling piano bar, which I love dueling piano mm-hmm. bars. Maybe you and I need to go... <laughs> Just the two of us, so we can do all this 21 and over stuff. There we go. There we go. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Atlantic Dance, which is a dance room, or a dance club. Um, it's got twinkly, st- twinkly stars, <laughs> twinkly <laughs> stars like on the ceiling, uh, balconies that overlook Crescent Lake. Again, we haven't even stepped foot in there, but I see it. But it's real big. You see yeah. it, doesn't it say, like, dance hall mm-hmm. really large on it? Yeah. Um, I think it hosts a lot of weddings and stuff in there, too. Oh, that's cool. It's like a venue you can do your wedding in. That makes sense. And again, having the boardwalk right there. And the other thing to keep in mind with Boardwalk Resort, you know, putting aside my complaint that there's no, like, internal little area, um, is just that there's so much to do on the boardwalk. You can rent, like, Surrey bikes and go through. You can get ice cream. You can go to any of the other hotels that are within walking distance and get food or coffee. So it's not like you're strapped into just that hotel. There's so much right near you that you can just walk to and exactly, just exactly, switch yeah. it up. Get a little food from elsewhere, you know? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, so then there's uh, the walk-up windows that are on the boardwalk. There's Boardwalk Deli, Boardwalk Ice Cream, Carousel Coffee, and a pizza mm-hmm. window that you can all get right there on the uh, the boardwalk area. There's uh, four bars in this area. So there's the Abracadab Bar. There is, which is like magic-themed. Yeah, themed. it's magic-themed, it's, you guys. It's so fun. Again, it's yeah, <laughs> we'll get into that another time. There's mm-hmm. Leaping Horse Libations, which is the pool bar. Uh, which I'm pretty sure that's the one that Excuse looks... Excuse me, you wrote Leaping Hose Libations. <laughs> H-O-S-E. H-O-S-E. Yeah, that's right, that's right. That's an important distinction. Uh, which I think looks like a carousel, if I remember right. There's Boardwalk Joe's. <laughs> you brought it up. Six Marvelous... Hose Leaping. <laughs> Six Hose Leaping. Go on. There's uh, Boardwalk Joe's Marvelous Margaritas, which is along the oh. water side. Um, it's a separate little like stall outside. Uh, and then there's Bellevue Lounge. So uh, looking at the pools, mm-hmm. there is the Luna Park pool. That's the main pool in the uh, like in the main courtyard area there. Can um, I talk about this pool? Yes, you may. Okay. This pool used to have the creepiest clown face you've ever seen. And when you go down the slide, it goes through the clown's mouth into the water and it was incredible and i have to say i'm a little low-key sad it's gone but also it was so creepy (laughs) they nailed the look of like weird rundown boardwalk atlantic city like coney island almost vibe they nailed it but they did get rid of that aesthetic there they have this it's like a roller coaster looking thing that the slide goes through and now it's more like mickey and minnie um like the new age Mickey and Minnie like Runaway yeah, Railway yeah, yeah. look. Which is fun. I love that. Aesthetic. Yeah. And it's really cute too. But the clown's gone. <laughs> it was so crazy. I wonder where it is. You know it's sitting in a warehouse somewhere <laughs> Somebody, creeping people out. Somebody's new Halloween decoration they put on. Some Imagineers got it out in their front yard. Right. In their front doors. Oh my gosh. That'd be incredible. Um, okay. So again, basically the same uh, transportation as we just talked about mm-hmm. with uh, the Yacht and Beach Club. Um, okay. So that's that. Should we move on to Old Key West? Old Key West, baby. Okay, Dub. As I lovingly call it. <laughs> Um, when, when have you called it okay dub? I've just just now <laughs> okay dub uh so it's meant to have like the romance as disney puts it of the florida keys so um it definitely does i feel like capture that aesthetic mm-hmm. yeah definitely feels like you're in the florida keys and they well first of all just some things i noticed kind of clicking through pictures we've not stayed at this one but we've been there and um the lobby is definitely dated and i can't decide looking at the photos and this is how I feel about a few Disney resorts, like the like Old Key West, where I'm like, is it dated or is it just so perfectly themed that it's like, nope, they nailed it. That's it's exactly. Intentional. And so obviously it's intentional, but it definitely kind of looking at it, I was like, yeah. oh, it feels like it just needs a little bit of a. Yeah. Well, they just redid uh, the Yacht Club mm-hmm. lobby. Uh, we didn't really talk about that, but that was sort of one where you're looking at it like, gosh, it, 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 it's like perfect. But it does seem dated, but they yeah. just redid it, and it is beautiful. They did such they an amazing did. job. I love the new lobby there. So maybe too. that's kind of what they need to do here. Well, and I know in 2019, I was looking at some blogs. I guess they started to refurb it, and so some of it is refurbished. Not the lobby necessarily, but like the rooms, maybe oh, the lobby. Cool. But um, I don't know that they ever completed it or if they're still in the works of doing it. So that's I just see. something to be aware of. That's one thing I would say about the rooms there. We've not stayed. I would definitely be curious to know like if you were getting a refurbed room if you booked booked there or not yeah and maybe you don't do you you book a lot of old key west we don't it's not a just one of those i know 
it's big with DVC members. Like a lot of people have their, that's their home resort. Wasn't that the first? No, that wasn't. The, Saratoga Springs been. was the first one, I think. Okay. But it's it got to be on. early. Yeah. So I think it's a big favorite amongst DVC, but amongst like regular Disney goers, if you will. I don't think it's, yeah. you know. It's just not one that comes up very often. It's, yeah. it's like the one that I, when I'm like rattling off, it's always the last one I think of. Yeah, I but would that, agree. But that said, we did eat at Olivia's Cafe, which mm-hmm. is one of the restaurants there. And we sat outside at night. Loved it. That was a great experience. It was breakfast. The food was great. Yeah. I mean, and the environment's actually really cute there, especially once you're out there. There's like a boat slip. So again, it really does feel like you're in the Florida Florida Keys. Yeah. You're not far from it in Orlando. <laughs> um I wanted to read, though, speaking of Olivia's Cafe, you go in and it's almost like cluttered with stuff everywhere. And pictures and... Yeah, and so it's cute to know their Disney's backstory they created. So, Olivia Farnsworth lived in a small cottage along Turtle Crawl, upwind of the Strip. Almost daily, she'd invite curious passersby who smelled her cooking to come on in and pull up a chair. People loved her vibrant flavors and earthy personality. What does that mean? And before long, she found herself setting more tables. Eventually, Olivia... Eventually, Olivia opened the doors to her... Ep- Eponym. I've never known how to say that. Sorry. Ep- I've... Eponymous? No. I know it means like named after her. Eponymous? Eponymous. Eponymous? That's how I would say. Epiponymous. <laughs> oh, I want an epiponymous. Eponymous for Christmas Cafe, which has been a haven for locals and a must visit for out-of-towners ever since. So it's cute that they have that backstory that like, yeah. you know, anyway. The food yeah. was really, really good. They yeah. have a couple, they have goods food to go. They have Turtle Shack. It's like a poolside little bar area. Gurgling Suitcase is a bar, but you can order food from from Olivia's to be delivered oh, there nice. too. Okay. So they have a couple options. And again, well, I don't think we've said this yet. The transportation there, buses mostly. They do have a boat to Disney Springs. Mm-hmm. And it also goes to Saratoga, like kind of on a route. Oh, okay. And so, I mean, in theory, you could go over to Saratoga and eat there too. So like if you wanted a different option, because you don't have a lot of options there. At there, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That's interesting because I didn't. You could definitely just kind of make it a point to get over there, but they're both. I feel like such spread out. So like from the boat docks, you have to, it would take a hike to get up to the main area at Saratoga Springs too. I feel like. Yeah, so, we'll talk about Saratoga in a minute, yeah. but yeah. Um, so that's interesting. So yeah, the uh, the main pool has this big sand. Like this is, I think, the coolest part besides Olivia's Cafe, which was very enjoyable. Mm-hmm. The best part is the pool there. They've got this big sand castle looking thing, mm-hmm. and uh, it's it's. It's funny. It looked cooler in person when we saw it than it did when I was just looking at pictures to remind myself. I was like, it was cooler in person. I don't know. Yep. Like, it's like none of the pictures quite captured. I thought it was pretty neat. I think generally, like, once you're in the actual pool area, it's kind of a general pool. But I like the Sandcastle vibe. It fits in with the theme. Um, I mean, there's a reason we haven't stayed there yet. It's a little bit out of the way. It's not, like, calling to us with all of these different things you can do. You know what I mean? So I think that's why... We will eventually check it off our list. Though. Yeah, I think so. We'll end up like going and absolutely loving it. Who knows? It'll be one of those things. So, okay, moving on to Disney's Riviera Resort, which I, mm. <laughs> when this resort first opened, I did not like it. I, I was looking at it like what was under construction and then it was finished and I'm kind of looking at it I'm like, this does not seem like a Disney hotel. It's not themed very well. Like it's just, they have like different colored shutters. I'm like, where is the actual, you know, where is something like the Grand Floridian or something like the Polynesian that is so themed that I'm like, or Animal Kingdom Lodge, which is like a wow resort. Well, another thing about Riviera is it's not like a complex like Grand Floridian or Polynesian. It's more like the contemporary where it's like just one. Yeah ish building i yeah. mean you know so we like looking at it from afar i was like i don't really know i don't really like it i'm kind of i was kind of sad when it first opened and then we went into the lobby and i liked it more because i just that little lobby it's not a huge lobby it's pretty Mm-mm. small um but just the, the again the the feel of like the italian riviera and the french riviera and i loved mm-hmm. all the different uh movie posters in different languages they had this cool coffee shop like it had the really nice flooring and like so that made me like it a little bit more but once we stayed there oh, i was boy. like this is, I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. I love we it. We were so, and we knew it'd be nice, but we were gobsmacked by how much we loved, loved staying there. Mm-hmm. I I mean, we've now stayed there. Twice. Three times a lady. Just twice. Just twice, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're confusing me with your, <laughs> with your, Just twice. With Just your vocal twice. singing. So um, here's a huge pro beyond the things we're about to talk about. Everything is so close together. I mean, we talk about like Saratoga Springs next. It is so, even Grand Floridian. I mean, it's not that far. You're not walking that far, but it's still, like I said, a complex. You're walking between Mm -hmm. buildings. Everything is so close together. Both of the pools are near each other. Mm -hmm. The transportation's right there. The restaurants are all within the same building. Like 
You can just hop down to get some coffee or hop down to the quick service. Yeah. It's so it's so fast. It's more like a traditional hotel in that way, like elsewhere, mm-hmm. which I kind of like. It's kind of nice to not have to walk too far to get your coffee in the morning or to get some quick service or to go to the pool or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I completely agree. And uh, that just, like you said, it's almost like, like because obviously, you know, Florida, it rains all the time. There's mm-hmm. bad weather. It's super hot. You know, who, whatever it, it is. And uh, it's nice to just be able to just hop down, even if it's pouring down rain, and mm-hmm. grab some lunch or grab mm-hmm. coffee, whatever. It yeah. definitely makes a difference. The The rooms are amazing. Mm-hmm. And it's so funny because I love, loved, but also still love the Grand Floridian. Mm-hmm. But once we stayed at the Riviera, I was like, these rooms are what <laughs> should be at Grand Floridian because these rooms yeah. are so much nicer than Grand Floridian. Now they've renovated most, if not all, of the rooms at Grand Floridian to basically look like the ones. They're, they're different. They're different, but they definitely needed an update at Grand Floridian, and now they're much more uh, akin to this. But I was like, this is what when I say at Grand Floridian, this is the room I want. It just it was a very deluxe feeling room, yes. and maybe that's all it was. Grand Floridian was still nice, but it just felt like okay, if I'm paying the same or more for Grand Floridian. It needs to feel at least as nice as this. It doesn't mm-hmm. need to look exactly like this, but it needs to feel as nice yeah. as that. Um, I feel like any view at the Riviera is solid. Facing one direction, you're facing like the big courtyard area with one of the pools and like, uh, or no, actually, well, kind of both of the pools. Yeah. You're facing the water. You see the skyliner in the distance. That's my favorite view. That's what we've gotten every time. Mm-hmm. But if you face the other way, you get to see all kinds of other stuff. There's... um. There's all, like, if you look, especially if you're on a higher floor, maybe that would be the recommendation. If you're facing out, ask for a higher floor because then you can see parts of Disney World from a distance. Mm -hmm. From a distance. I'm on a roll. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Which is so cool. So it's one of those resorts that most of the views are pretty good. Yeah, there are some rooms, especially lower, that you're just going to be kind of looking out over a parking lot. Um, But again, if you're not going to spend as much time in the room, you know, but, you know, because there still are enough reasons, I think, to stay here as far as the Skyliner and all these other reasons to stay here that uh, even if you're looking at the parking lot, it's still probably worth it. Yeah. But if Take you can, yeah, definitely yeah. request a courtyard or, or uh, book a courtyard room there. So let's talk about restaurants. And then there's a couple of like additional recreational things they have that we should talk about. Let's start small. Quick service is Primo Piatto. Tyler lovingly calls that. Piatto potato, <laughs> panini. Panini piano. <laughs> I can never remember you what can it's never called. remember what it's called. Primo Piatto. Primo Piatto. Um, really good quick service food. We've eaten breakfast, lunch, and dinner there multiple times. We've gotten it to go and just brought it to the room, brought it to the pool. It's it's pretty good food for quick it service. Really I have to say. is. It's probably one of the best quick services on property. And just slightly honestly. different options yeah. too. Yeah. Mm. It's um, good. Le Petit Cafe is the coffee bar you mentioned. Mm-hmm. And so it has really good coffee. Like it, it definitely has like an actual coffee bar feeling. You're not just right. getting black coffee with creamer you can order all kinds of different stuff they've got baked goods and stuff Mm -hmm. but what about that room right next to it tyler what is it called um uh adventures room or something like that it's got a name it looks like a library Mm -hmm. Uh, and so you can walk in when we first went i thought it was a bar but it's not it's just like a little sitting room area and it's got like some books on the shelves that i think are they're like fake you can't like take them out but they have like just this this awesome little sitting area so i just remember one time we were there and i got up at like five o'clock in the morning and i went and enjoyed that room and i got some work done and then we went out to the parks and whatever Mm -hmm. that day but i just remember it was like quiet and like oh i just loved it and you had disney memorabilia all around you a lot of walt disney memorabilia so they definitely lean into walt's travels to the riviera right and so there's like historic photographs and like things like that which is yeah. just really, really and this neat. is one of those places like the grand floridian that the smell mm. is so good mm. it just smells so like luxurious and just oh i love it bar riva is this really pretty bar near the main pool it's got like tile work yeah. it's just really really gorgeous um and then the main restaurant is topolino's terrace mm-hmm. so the the breakfast there is, I'm not going to say probably, it is definitely my favorite say. breakfast on property. Besides the breakfast pizza, that one individual that dish. That's for <laughs> that one dish. That one. Other than that, the this is definitely my favorite mm-hmm. overall because the food is so good. It's a character breakfast. You have these amazing views. Like everything about it is just perfect. The dinner we did, I think once or even twice. And I twice did not. Now. Well, okay. Maybe this was just the one time, the first time. 
did not like it. Just it, I feel like the food was okay. The menu was just way out there, even for somebody like me. And I feel like I'm pretty open when it comes to eating. Yeah. But like I couldn't find anything I actually wanted to eat. We always joke like the 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 dinner menu for the kids. Gigi was like three, and it was, and like, it was like salmon or <laughs> lobster tails. And we're like, like neither. Do you have an uncrustable? <laughs> You know, it was pretty like we even yeah. ended up going back and checking that menu like were we crazy and we were like no no that menu was crazy it was insane and i'm sure there are some kids and i wish our kid would eat oh, like I that wish but no they didn't even have, can like can we get a grilled cheese please and thank you <laughs> uh but then uh we went again and it totally redeemed itself it was <laughs> so good yeah i got a cocktail before that was like so real i don't remember it's like some sort of old-fashioned or manhattan or something mm-hmm. like that so good uh then we had i think i got a steak Maybe it's, I don't even know what it was. All I remember was it was so good. So it Yeah, totally and it was still itself. newer when we went that first time. So I think that was a piece of it. They were working out the kinks of the menu. They were working out. So it, yeah, it redeemed itself. It and I so do good. like having places that are not just obviously your standard theme park fair and all that kind of stuff. But there's, I feel like a point where you like, you're, you know, you, you're <laughs> you've still gone Disney too far. and this is a, and it, that was the thing. It, not the dinner, but the breakfast is character breakfast. So you meet Mickey and Minnie and all of them and they come out, they dance to this song it is so much fun. So if you are looking, like, that is the single best character breakfast, period, mm-hmm. on Disney World property. Period. Period. Best So even views, if you're not staying food. there, it is worth going there. That is the one that's worth the money for every reason. Yes. And the views. So yeah, at Topolino Sierra, so that aside, you get to go out on the terrace when you're, you know, during your dinner, after your dinner, whatever. You can see all areas of Disney World mm-hmm. all around you because it's so high up. You can, like, literally point to, there's the Epcot ball. There's the... Yep. Um, it's beautiful. And it's really pretty in the morning, but then if you if you do go for dinner, if you can get a time where you're going to watch the sunset, it's just Yeah, it's unbelievable. just so cool. So right. a few other things to know. Um, it has a really cool courtyard area that's got like the quiet pool and then around the corner is the main pool. The pool is absolutely awesome. We have had so much fun there and it's right on the water too, facing Caribbean Beach. So you can actually walk there's a little walkway to Garabian Beach. So if you wanted to go to their quick service mm-hmm. or their restaurant we've never been to, Sebastian's <laughs> Bistro, <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, so that's just really neat that it's that close. I didn't realize that the first time we stayed. So yeah. the second time I had so much fun. We walked there and enjoyed, went Such over to the blast. gift shop. Yeah. But there's like hammocks you can lay on. There's giant chests in the courtyard area of the Riviera. There's so much to do. Mm-hmm. Movie Under the Stars, of course, a little campfire um all the things yeah oh and they have a cute little crafting room like a community room Mm -hmm. you can go in and color they have like crafts you can pay for that are like more involved and then other ones most of it's free so the last thing you should know probably the most important thing it's a skyliner resort so you get on there you can go to hollywood studios or epcot Mm -hmm. which is huge now you otherwise you're doing buses everywhere else but i mean that alone is a good reason to stay there skyliner is a game changer Mm -hmm. in so many ways okay so now saratoga springs resort so this is the one we stayed in the most recently when we just went with the girls Mm -hmm. Uh, and they just completed a big room renovation i liked it before love the new rooms there definitely definitely needed it and i I love it i mean they did such a good job yeah they did such a good job yeah it's still the same layout but just again just a a great refresh refresh, yeah yeah. um so this is a huge resort Mm -hmm. like i would literally from our room I would start a walk on my Apple Watch because I knew I'd get between getting there and back. It's like a mile long walk. So I would like be my morning walk out there. Yeah, just to get coffee. <laughs> yeah. So it was a yeah, it is a huge resort. Um, but it is a great resort depending on where in the resort you're staying because in some areas you can walk to Disney Springs, you can walk to the main area. There's definitely the uh, the benefit of being able to just be right there at Disney Springs. Yeah, the first time we stayed, we stayed at a room that was kind of like facing that direction or right near it. So we would literally get out of our thing, walk the short path, and be in Disney Springs in minutes. This time we stayed a little bit farther away, and um, it was just a little bit in a quieter area, which was really nice, but it wasn't nearly as close. So it was a little bit more of a walk to get there, but it is an option. But if that were really important to you, you could definitely request that and see if you get it. Yeah. Um, but this, uh, if you want, I'll, I'll link a video below because I, the last time, the last day we were there, I went into some of the history of Saratoga Springs. So we're not going to talk about it right now, but I thought it was really interesting. It so is. I'll link that video below and then you can watch that little bit about the history of Saratoga Springs. But because of the history, there's all these buildings and we got to go in some of them. Cause like we went to the fitness center and I don't think, 
I don't remember the name of the fitness center here. Did it have a clever name? Oh, I'm sure it did. <laughs> but uh, it was a very nice fitness center. Uh, but you got a kid to go in some of these older like buildings that have been different things over the years. And I think yeah. that's really cool. Related to like the Disney Institute and stuff that used to be there. Yeah. I love that stuff. It's so fascinating. So we, um, th- speaking of those buildings, they have Census Spa there. They mm-hmm. have a fitness center that's a part of that. Um, and we did both go into the fitness center. It was pretty nice. It was pretty big. Yeah. Um, I've been to that spa, but it was back when we stayed the first time. So I don't, I remember it being pretty big. Um, It felt bigger than Grand Floridian Spa. Maybe it is literally, but it definitely felt bigger. Um, And those are the only two sets of spas Mm -hmm. on property, Grand Floridian and here. Um, But you can do, they have like the community hall again, where you can do crafts and stuff. I know you took Genevieve there Mm -hmm. at one point. And it also has Surrey bike rentals. Because it is so big, you could rent like a little family Surrey bike and go around and that would be a good one. It's got a nice playground maybe even two but we went to one of the playgrounds yeah. it was really nice yeah and the pools there are all really nice we went mm-hmm. to all, we made it a point to try and go to all of them while we were there. well we went to the main two there are three other quiet pools tyler which we did go insane the first time we went mm-hmm. we went to one of the quiet pools mm-hmm. um but yeah so there's two so more there's on top of five that. pools wow that's, that's how big pools. it is but the main two pools are really cool the main big rock one that's right by the main building that's the best one um so cool we even got food and you could get it delivered to your seat so we were like eating our lunch there it was so nice yeah but the other big pool is also really cool it's the paddock pool and they have a paddock grill over there so i mean it's just huge it really is it's (laughs) It's just a massive resort um so the restaurants Mm -hmm. we went to this place it's called the turf club and i (laughs) loved it i felt like i was in 1988 and i was out there making business deals like it was amazing i just it was such a throwback because it's me literally so happy. It it made me happy too. What was it? Because it really felt like all those old Disney VHSs we just, watched. Just gonna that's say it. it. It's like I was transported into a VHS from like 1991. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. amazing. I loved back then. Yeah. Um, but the food was good. Like yeah. it, it was like kind of steaky, like mm-hmm. different stuff. Steaky, steaky, <laughs> steaky and shaky. Um, but you, at one point while we were waiting, I don't know, <laughs> I feel crazy. <laughs> at one point while we were waiting for our table, we went out yeah. and you could view, was it the like some of the golf and... course and stuff. Um, so it was just kind of cool to see like stuff that, I mean, a lot of that's yeah. been there for a very long time. Yeah. And they had this like horseradish sauce, sauce with my, <laughs> horseradish sauce with my steak. <laughs> I had the steak and stick. And it was uh, really good. It was just really, really good. Yeah. Um, okay. So then there's the artist palette, which is the quick service, which is kind of located in the middle of the gift shop, if you will. Yeah. They're it's kind like of a, combined. Yeah. But Not uh, a great gift shop. Yeah. It's real small. Not a great quick service, honestly. It's okay, though. I mean, if you're staying there, yeah. you're going to eat there. The food wasn't bad. I, said, I don't remember it's what just, I even got. You know, when you compare like quick services at like the cheaper resorts, like the value, they blow those quick services up. There's so much. Yeah. So it's like, man, you really are like. Whew. Yeah. And it's a, it can be a long walk depending on where you are to get there too. True. Um, so yeah, then you talked about the paddock grill at the paddock pool. Um, Chippendales, Chippendales Cafe, Cafe is like at the golf. I, oh, I, could, okay. I didn't look up exactly where it was, but it did say like after golfing. So I think it's like more I see. Okay. near where you actually would golf. And they have like pool bars that I think all of them, of course. So that means there's probably like five. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, and then, uh, so as far as transportation goes, you've got buses, um, and then you've got a boat to Disney Springs. If you're not in an area, if you're closer to that versus like walking. And of course you have the internal bus too, to literally get around the like five different stops Mm -hmm. just within that resort. Yeah. Which is helpful because again, like some things are pretty far. Now they also have the treehouse villas here, which I really want to stay in at some point. It's, it's on the list to stay there, but we need, uh, like six other people to join us yeah they're like huge but they're again they're kind of nostalgic like they're old school disney and they hold like i think nine adults is the max we'll do it Um, someday i know i just think it'd be such a different experience in disney Mm -hmm. i think it'd be so cool yeah all right it's time to rank baby do you want to read all of yours and then i or do we want to bounce back and forth what do we usually do we, we just kind of list them off. Yeah. So well, you, this is a lot. So we're doing, we're combining Yacht and Beach into one just to make yes. it easier. Yep. Number six. So again, keep in mind, we haven't stated all these. So just, you know, be patient with us. Number six is Old Key West. I think we stated our case there. Number five, Boardwalk. I want it to redeem itself. I want to stay there again and maybe like actually face the boardwalk. I say that's going to make the biggest difference. I think, I is think if so we are too. facing the boardwalk. Because we were like, we said, we were like in this weird inner like, last room they had room (laughs) yeah yeah number four animal kingdom lodge i love it just hard to get to you know 
Number three, Saratoga Springs. I, that was a hard decision there. Yeah. But I really, this last time, loved Saratoga. Number two, Yacht and Beach. Even though I've never stayed there, I just know. Okay. It just know. Yacht and Beach. Number one, Riviera. Easiest one. That was the first one. I was like, well, that's obviously number yeah. one. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So mine, again, Old Key West, same reasons. Uh, boardwalk. So, so far, so, so far, so same. Mm-hmm. Four for me was Saratoga Springs. Okay. So it's a little bit further down. So three and four. Uh, again, it depends a lot on where you are yeah. in that resort. That makes a huge difference. Because if we, like the second time, had walked to Disney Springs like we did the first time, like, we, only, we only went over to Disney Springs, I think, one time. Because it was so hard to get over there. It's not nearly as, yeah. Whereas the reason I wanted to stay there was. was and you can always call and request certain areas. What, I don't remember what that area is called, where it's right by there. And you can always call and request. Um, and it's not guaranteed. I think I did call and request. Did. We didn't get it this time. But yeah. Um, if you do, I think that makes a huge difference for mm-hmm. me. Uh, then we're at Yacht and Beach Club. Again, haven't stayed there, but I know I'm going to love it when we so do. So you have that as number three. That's number three. Uh, number two is Animal Kingdom Lodge. Yeah. Even though, again, I know the transportation there is not bad. Everything else about that Great. resort is amazing. If it weren't yeah. for the transportation, everything else about that. And it's such a unique experience unless you're going some, unless you're going to Africa, unless you're going to a place where you can do this for real this is the closest yeah. you're gonna get yeah. it's so cool so they just need to update the transportation that's it um uh, and then my number one is the riviera let's go back <laughs> <laughs> um wow you guys we did the series this wow. so was many. so much fun to go through it was a lot of work like we said on our part and we're we are very excited looking forward to the next episode as we said um, you'll see what it's about, but like we said, it's weird. So strap in. <laughs> and it's um, be fun, though. I'm just, we're just so excited for the other, other kinds of episode. I don't think we realize how much we were biting off <laughs> in doing it this way. Um, but like we said too, we really want to do history ones in the future, especially diving into some of these, like it would be so fun to do a Saratoga Springs. Even if you've yes. never been there, doesn't matter. The history is fascinating. Yep. So. As we talked about at the very beginning, we have on our Instagram, Disneyville Podcast, we always ask for mm-hmm. listener recommendations, questions, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to now read a few of our, uh, a few of them here. Uh, you guys are so awesome. There's always so many responses. Yeah. I just, it's so fun. It's so, awesomely overwhelming, but in the best way. And it's just, you guys, yeah. yeah. This is like the most fun part of the podcast for me. Okay. So a human 95 says, does, pr- does transportation help you decide where to stay? bus skyliner boat monorail or walking yes Mm -hmm. i mean it's i think it's a big deal no matter what but especially if you have strollers it makes a big difference wheelchairs wheelchairs i was gonna say anything like that like that because with the skyliner and the monorail you can just roll right on and it's so it's so amazing so like that does make a difference there's no perfect resort i feel like when it comes to that Mm -hmm. but that is definitely a factor I agree. So m del hunty said morning coffee while watching the giraffes from my balcony Ugh, so worth it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, M. Del Hunty also said, this is the first part, love Animal Kingdom Lodge from the smell of the lobby to waking up and enjoying my morning coffee while watching the drafts. That is, yeah, that sounds like a dream. A lot of love for Animal Kingdom Lodge. A lot. Um, so this is a really good question. Skellius Maximus asked, we're staying at Old Key West in November, 11-person family trip. How is the resort for kids? I don't know specifically with that one, but I would say your best bet, no matter where you're staying, is ask at the front desk, like, what are the different recreation things you guys have for kids? Because there are so many things that we always find out about later, like scavenger hunts around the resort. Um, When they're doing the movies under the stars, if they're doing the campfire thing, um, is there an arcade? They'll be able to give you all of that information and probably more than you want, which is awesome. Um, You know, do you have a craft room here? Is it free? So I would ask the front desk because they'll know all of that, especially since I feel like stuff like that can change daily and weekly too. So definitely worth asking. Ooh, Dana Kaufman asked, best pool out of those? Ooh, we haven't done it yet, but it's got to be Storm Alive Bay. Yeah. It just has to be. It just has to be. I I just has to be. (laughs) Cobber grad, sorry Tyler, I'm like reading. No, all you're these. good. You're good. Um, Cobber grad zero one said, "Love the boardwalk, sitting and relaxing with pizza, the piano bar, walking and boating to the parks. Love, yeah, that whole boardwalk vibe is yeah, a so vibe. Good. Like yeah. it is such a thing, and I get why there are a lot of people that will only stay on the boardwalk, whether it's at Boardwalk Resort or Key mm-hmm. West or, uh, no, not Key West. Nope, <laughs> Yacht and Beach. Um, and then of course there's also the Swan and Dolphin, which we've 
they're Disney, but not, eh. it's a whole thing. Um, we've never stayed at, we've kind of walked around a bit, but they're also on the boardwalk too. If you were curious. Right, yeah, kind of around the corner. Mm-hmm. Um, so Ali KB said, top tier memory, drinks at Old Key West outside of Olivia's, listening to live music on the water. Now that- Okay, wow. That is enough to change my mind completely. <laughs> Yeah, this is what we needed to hear about. Like these, the people, you guys that have actually stayed at Old Key West that love it. I love this. Ignazio Photography said, AKL memory, waking up on my wife's birthday and staring two giraffes right in the face. (laughs) (laughs) Picture him in his his undies. (laughs) Staring him right in the (laughs) face. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Okay, Katie Kavanda asks, is there really a Lion King store in Animal Kingdom Lodge? It's not like Lion King, but it's like there's a lot of Lion King stuff in there. At, uh, sorry, I wasn't listening. Animal, Animal King, King Lodge. Lodge. Yeah, I, yeah. We didn't even talk about that gift shop. I love it's that gift one. shop. It's, it's so it's... cool. Again, highly themed. A lot of Lion King stuff in there, though. So mm-hmm. I don't know that it's technically themed that, but it might there's as well be. Of, <laughs> we did uh, We did get Gigi like a kit of like the different like little figurines from... Lion King she was there, calling yeah. it Tiger King, which is even funnier because now that, of course, is a show, but that was before Tiger King was ever a thing. She could anyway. Um, Miss Nikki Sparkle said, love floating in the lazy river at the beach club. So yet another point for Storm Along Bay. That's right. I do remember seeing oh that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Pick one to splurge on for a couple. Riviera. No. I mean, that's fine if that's your opinion. It's just wrong. My opinion would be to go somewhere on the boardwalk because there's Abracadabra, there's the dance club, yep. there's the jelly rolls, there's all these places that are 21 and over. You're right. Um, that, that's it. That's, that's the it. place you're to right. go. Oh my gosh, you're right. So Little Miss Artsy asks, for resorts like Old Key West and Saratoga, can you request which building to stay in? Yes. And I feel like generally they're pretty good at, like most of the time when we've asked for a specific building, we've gotten it. Most of the this time, last yeah. time, we're pretty sure we requested near Disney Springs to Saratoga, and we didn't get it. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's always worth calling and adding that in. Or if you have a travel agent, <laughs> they will do that for you. So by the way, quick little plug for Tyler's travel agency. It is People Mover Travel. You can the quote you can request a quote for free. I'm his highest paid employee. <laughs> I don't get paid nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but seriously, I mean, it's an awesome agency. We like to talk about it because, I mean, we love Disney. That's why you ever yeah. started this in the first place. And all, all the agents, I swear, know more than I do. So <laughs> they, I think they, they do. I mean, uh, we've like, done a lot, but they've done more. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, so Tay Smitty 5 said, unpopular opinion, the old boardwalk pool with the clown slide was the best. <laughs> I love also, that. Also, love the carousel bar. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. K. Casasolis? Casasolis? Casasolis, triangle. I don't know. Uh, uh, not related. <laughs> not where but I did, you to go. Uh, but did I see you guys went on a Disney cruise recently? Any videos about that? Yes, we have an entire. All those videos are now up if you didn't see them. We also talked about maybe doing a, a podcast episode about that too. We'll see if we do that. But all those vlogs from our recent Disney Wish cruise are up. I'll link Yeah, they're on Tyler's channel, which is Tyler Braun, B R A U N. Um, Okay, so skipping over, we like to read one of your guys' reviews on Apple Podcasts. Um, So this one, Michael W. Smith said, Best Disney podcast, Tyler and Jessica are my favorite Disney creators. Whether it's this podcast or their YouTube vlogs, they know how to bring the Disney vibes I need to get through a tough day at work. Yeah. Um, I'm a big believer that personalities make podcasts, and they have two of the best personalities. That's nice out there. I'm always excited to see what they do next. Well, thank you. What a nice say things like Kaisosceles Triangle. Kaisosceles Triangle. Thank you. That That's was awesome. so nice. Thank you so much. Uh, we love reading through those reviews. Anytime we're having a bad day, we'll yeah. pop, pop those open. <laughs> anyway, awesome. All right. Well, should we tell them what we're doing next time? No, we'll save it. Save it as a surprise. Like, we've already Ooh. talked about it a little bit. Maybe I don't know. I'm crazy. All right. Well, thank you for watching. <laughs> We appreciate it. We will see you guys in a couple weeks with our next episode. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye.